Alhamdulillah, we have uh, another beautiful night of Eid to inshallah start this great program together. Um, I understand the excitement. Alhamdulillah, it is the night of Eid. Uh, so I totally understand, but we have to start our program. So let's start with a salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Okay, we have to recite one more salawat, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajum. Ibtidan iida ba hamay dosta ba hamay baradaran o kharan o gerami tabrik megum. Inshallah ke har roze insan eid baashan. Chanan ke goftan ke roze ke insan gunah na kona roze eid ast. Wa iid iida bazarga iid qadir khuma ba shuma azizay masir rasul tabrik megum. ای دو هفته اید در اید داشتم انشالله که هر روز شما هم اید باشد ابتدا با کلام الله مجید شروع میکنیم و قبل از او از همه دوستان میخوام که سکوت رعایت کنن خصوصا در هنگام تلاوت قرآن کریم So um, we're gonna start with reciting Quran inshallah and I request all my brothers and sisters to please um, Thank you. So we're going to start with Quran recitation. Um, Quran will be from ayat 1 to 4 of Surah Mubarakah Maida. Um, the recitation will be done by our brother uh, Reza Rezaei. The um, English translation will be by Shaquille Mohsen. And the English translation, uh, the Farsi translation will be by Hoda Kazemi. So uh, for the health and success of all three members of Masjid al-Rasul, please recite a loud salawat and let's listen to Quran Kareem. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا حلت لكم بهيمة الأنعام إلا يتلى عليه إلا ما يتلى عليكم غير محل الصيد وأن إن الله يحكم ما يريد يا ولا الشهر الحرام ولا الهدي ولا القلائد ولا آمين البيت الحرام يبتغون فضلا يبتغون فضلا من ربهم ورضوانا وإذا حللتم فاصطالوا ولا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم أن صدوكم عن المسجد الحرام أن تعتدوا وتعاونوا ولا تعاونوا على الإثم والعدوان واتقوا الله إن الله شديد العقاب حرمت عليكم الميتة والدم ولحم الخنزير وما أهل والمتردية والنطعة 
وما أكل السبع إلا ما ذكيتم وما ذبح على النصب وتستقسموا بالأسلام اليوم يئس الذين كفروا من دينكم فلا تخشوهم واخشعون اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا فمن يضر في مخمصة غير متجانف الإثم فإن الله غفور رحيم يسألونك ماذا أحل قل أحل لكم الطيبات وما علمتم من الجوارح مكلفين تعلمونهم فكلوا مما أمسكنا عليكم واذكروا اسم الله عليه واتقوا الله إن الله سريع الحساب وذق الله العلي Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the All Beneficent, All Merciful. O oh, you who have faith, keep your agreements. You are permitted, permitted animals of grazing livestock, except for what is now announced to you. Disallowing game while you are in pilgrim sanctity. Indeed, Allah decreases whatever He desires. O oh, you who have faith, do not violate Allah's sacraments, neither the scared month, nor the offering, nor the necklace, nor the bounds, for the sacred house who seeks their Lord's bounty and his pleasure. 
but when you emerge from pilgrim sanctity, you may hunt for game. Ill feeling for a people should not lead lead you, because they bared you from access to the sacred mosque. Transgress. Cooperate in piety and god god wariness, but do not cooperate in sin and aggression. And be wary of Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in retribution. You are prohibited carrion, blood the flesh of swine, and what has been offered to other than Allah. And the animal strangled or beaten to death, and that which dies by falling or is gored to death, and that which is man mangled by a beast of prey, bearing that which you may purify, and what is sa sacrificed on stone altars to idols, and that you should divide by raffling with arrows all, the, all that is transgression. Today the faithless have despaired of your religion, so do not fear them, but fear me. Today I have perfected your religion for you, and I have completed my blessing upon you, and I have approved Islam as your religion. But should anyone be compelled by hunger without inclining, inclining to sin, then Allah is indeed all-forgiving, all-merciful. They ask you as to what is lawful for them. Say Allah, say all the good things are lawful for you. As for what have taught hunting dogs to catch, teaching them by what Allah has taught you, eat of what they have, what they catch for you, and mention, and mention Allah's name over it, and be very, be wary of Allah. Allah is indeed swift at reckoning. Sadaqallahu al خداوند بخشنده مهربان کسانی که ایمان دارید ایمان های خود و خواب کنید همه حیوانات چهار پا به جد آنهایی که نام برده شده است بر شما حلال است و اما و اما در حال و اما در حال احرام و به هنگام مراسم حج شکار حیوانات حرام شده است زیرا که خدا به هر چه اراده کند حکم می‌کند ای کسانی که ایمان دارید حرمت شعائر خدا و ماهای حرام را نشکنید و متعرض حیواناتی که برای قربانی آورده می و قربانی های قلاده دار نشوید و زائران بیت الحرام را که خوشنودی پروردگارشان و خوشنودی کرم او را می گویند حرمت بدارید و آنگاه که از احرام در آمدید و مناسک حج را به پایان بردید چه کار توانید کرد و دشمنی گروهی که شما را از مسجد الحرام باز داشتند و به تعدی کردن وادارتان, به تعدی کردن وادارتان نکند هم دیگر را به نیکوکاری و تقوا یاری دهید و به گناهکاری و دشمنی همکاری نکنید و از خدا به ترسید زیرا که خدا سخت مجازات است بر شما حرام است گوشت مردار و خون و گوشت خود و آنچه به هنگام نام به هنگام زب نام غیر خدا بر آن گفته شده است و گوشت حیوان خفه شده و آنچه با زدن سنگ مرده و یا از بلندی سقوط کرده و یا به ضرب شاخ حیوان دیگری مرده است و آنچه, و آنچه نیم خورده درندگان است مگر آنکه به موقع زبهش به موقع زبهش کنید و نیز آنچه برای بوتان زب شده است و گوشتی که به وسیله تیراندازی در قمار تقدیم شده است همه اینها پس است امروز کسانی که کافرند از غلبه بر دین شما ناامید شده اند پس از آنان نترسید و از من بترسید امروز دین شما را به کمال رسانیدم و نعمت خیش را بر شما تمام کردم و اسلام را دین شما برگزیدم پس هر که از شدت گرسنگی ناچار شود از آن چه حرام شده است بی آن که قصد گناه کردن داشته باشد بخورد به درستی که خدا آمرزنده و مهربان است از تو میپرسند چه چیزهایی بر آنها علال است بگو بر شما حلال است همه چیزهای پاک و نیکو و آن چه که به وسیله حیوانات شکاری که شما تعلیم داده اید که شما تعلیم داده اید شکار شده است به همان روشی که خدا به شما تعلیم داده است و, بش... و شما به آنها آموخته باشید پس بخورید از آنچه که برایتان میگیرند اما نام خدا را بر آن یاد کنید و از خدا بترسید زیرا که خدا سریع الحساب است راست گفت خداوند بزرگ و بلند I 
would like to thank our uh, brother Reza Rezaei for the beautiful Qur'an, the translation, uh, Agha Shakil, and uh, the Farsi translation by uh, Nurul Huda Khanum. And please recite a salawat for their health and success. So again, I know it's very tempting because I see these cakes in front of me and it's an important night. But I would like to start with some of our um, um, announcements, the most important ones. So um, most important than all uh, but tonight, what we're expecting next. Uh, first, we will have the cake cutting ceremony, inshallah. Uh, and then we'll have a program for poetry. Then we have the speech by Hojat uh, al-Islam muslimin Hajar al Mudarris regarding the event of Ghadir uh, al And at the end, we have game and prizes. So for those of you who are waiting for those games, please stay put. We will have those games, inshallah, and some good prizes out there. And then, inshallah, we'll have dinner. As always, I would like to ask uh, my brothers and sisters at the end of uh, the majlis, please uh, be patient and please be aware of our neighborhood and let's um, keep our masjid clean and be uh, you know quiet when we leave our masjid just to uh, you know be mindful of our neighbors i have another important announcement regarding uh, our pit picnic and the potluck um, i'm sure most of you already know about it it is going to happen on july 17th so it is on sunday july 17th at one o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna gather in uh, Rancho Madeira Park, and uh, inshallah, we'll do namaz together, and there's a potluck. Now, for the potluck, there is a sign-up sheet. Uh, please go to your emails, follow the link, and sign up for the potluck. We will have games and activities, as always, for kids, the soccer, volleyball, basketball, uh, all those great things. Um, and we will celebrate this Eid together, inshallah. در این قسمت ما خواهش میکنم از حجت الاسلام و المسلمین حاج آقای مدرس که برای کات کردن کیک تشریف بیارن و انشالله برنامه را ادامه بدن صلوات علی محمد و آل محمد سو بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم سلام علیکم एवरीवन سو آل استارت انشالله وی گو بک تو اور اولد تریدیشن اف دی پیپل دت دیر نیم از دی سیم از دی پرسن دت وی سلیبریت the Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Qadir is about people, uh, the two important figures. One is Prophet and one is Imam Ali alayhi salam. So we have Brother Ali here. I'll ask Brother Ali. Before Brother Ali, what's your name? Abbas. So Abbas is Imam Ali's son. So we start with Abbas. He's going to cut the cake. And uh, recite a salawat for Brother Abbas. Oh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Well, thank you. And applause for Abbas as well, everyone. Jazaka. Good job. I'll give you this. Let me give you this. Come. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to put it? It's not a candle. We can eat it. It's chocolate. Okay. Good job. Go ahead. Okay. Now, Brother Ali will cut the cake. I'll ask Brother Ali to do it. Recite a salawat for Brother Ali. Jazakallah. A round of applause for Brother Ali as well. Jazakallah. Let's see. And he said, Rasulullah, the most active member of our masjid. Bia. Bia. Okay, Aram said, Mahdi is going to cut the cake. Okay, recite a salat for Sayyid Mahdi. Inshallah, Mishi Nabishtar. Allahumma salam. Bianji, Bia. Okay. Aga Mahdi, okay. Inshallah, I'm not active or over them. Mashallah. Good job. Aga Mahdi, another salawat. Allah. Muhammad Hussein is going to cut it. Go for it. Salawat for Muhammad Hussein. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come, Hassan is next. MashaAllah, a lot of young people, which is great, are a masjid. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. 
So what's your name? Ali. Ali, and your name? Shakura Ziada. Ali will do for both. Hold on together. Recite a salawat for both of them. Masallallahu Muhammad. Thank you. Applause for them, please. User, come here. Your name? Abu Zar. Abu Zar is going to cut the cake. Come. Recite a salawat, please. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad wa alim. Thank you. Mashallah. Come. Come. This is meaning a party bazin. Okay. Zahra is going to cut the cake on behalf of all the girls on that side. Salawat for Zahra. Allahumma salla ala Muhammad wa alim Muhammad. Jail fajr. And applause for Zahra as well. Thank you. آقا محمود نگران شیرچایه میگه زودتر کیک بدن که شیرچای هم یخ شد از این جد اجاله دارن برای آقا محمود و بقیه والنتیر هم یک سلوات بفرستن So we continue, inshallah, with poetry, as I promised earlier. And uh, since, alhamdulillah, we have great programs, uh, let's start, and I won't be long in my uh, part, inshallah. So we start uh, with a poetry by our sister, Sahil, and uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. Please recite a salawat for her health and, and success in life, inshallah. In advance, Mubarak to you all on this blessed occasion, I humbly present this poem in honor and celebration of this great Eid. Hasten towards the best of deeds, hasten towards the best of deeds, towards the one for you will intercede. Salman, across the junction of Ghadid, he'd plead. Leave all things and listen to your messenger, for what you learn today bears as much importance as the five daily prayer. Standing upon the makeshift pulpit of saddles, Muhammad, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Before thousands, he's, he'd rose. My message is complete from today. After me, Ali is your mawla who will keep you from going astray. Follow his way, for he is your, for he is your leader and my ummah's protector. Time stands still as the Ummah witnesses with their faces frozen, some smiling and cheering, whilst others are commiserating. This is my final proclamation. As I stand here in the desert sun, the best of creation, raising the palm of my successor, the one born in prayer's direction, his name will transcend nations and find hearts seeking his intercession. His love will comfort broken, troubled hearts that crave his protection. He is the ship of salvation. Today, you all, I congratulate on perfecting for you this religion. Ali is with the truth, and the truth is with Ali. His tongue, like his sword, can blow you with strikes of truth heavy. And yet, like his sword, Tulfaqar stays sheathed until necessary. This man is filled with every purity. O oh, people, listen. If you leave Karar, forget smelling the scent of heaven. Your soul will not even feel the soothing comfort of its presence. The wilaya and love for Haydar is a requirement for every believer. Just call his name and Allah will answer your every prayer. This decision needs no reasons nor contemplation. It is a reaction of love from hearts of gold that are chosen. This love gives an earthly creature made of God's soul a sense of purpose belonging. For in such souls, to seek proximity to God's signs, there is a longing. Just take a glance at his achievements. He first opened his eyes to gaze at the, his prophet. Cradled by the Prophet's arms every day as an infant. Raised in the house of Ahmad. Cooked the meal for the banquet and pledged his allegiance to the Prophet at the age of 11. 
the Prophet gave him his beloved Zahra, and he treated her as a queen. Need I continue reciting the merits of Amir al-Mu'mineen? O oh, Haydar, your mother named you as a brave warrior, but the Prophet says, O oh, my brother, have sabr, be patient, for after me you will witness despair, as they stand in Saqifa, deciding Islam's next heir, without for you a worry or a care. O oh, Ali, blessed are your lovers, for they will become heaven's dwellers, their houses of love adorned by the most beautiful divine of flowers. They will be the Prophet's friends and neighbors, drinking from the pool of Kawthar. O oh, Ali, your enemies will be many, and your followers will be tested in every time, place, and century. Their trials as heavy as the door of Khaybar you, you carried single-handedly. They will come to your sanctuary with their hands spread, asking for your strength to carry them through life's every journey. O oh, Ali, how can my pen do any justice to Ghadir? Yet for your remembrance my pen's ink bleeds. Please, in the hereafter, for your lovers, intercede. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Thank you, Sister Sahil, for the health and success of our Sister Sahil. Please recite aloud salawat. Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Sorry if I'm going a little bit quick because of the program and many programs alhamdulillah we have so um next time i would like to um, request sister afzali to recite her poetry uh, please recite the loud salawat for her بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي جهلنا من المتمسكين بولاية مولانا أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب سلام زخميم التيام ميخاهم التيام از إمام ميخاهم السلام عليك يا صاقي من عليك السلام می خواهم گاهگاهی کمی جنون دارم من جنون مدام می خواهم تا بگردم کمی به دور سر از توف بیت الارام می خواهم لحظه مرگ چشم در راهم از تو حسن ختام می خواهم مولای ما نمونه دیگر نداشته است اجاز خلقت از تو برابر نداشت است وقت تواف دور ارم فکر می کنم این خانه بی دلیل ترک بر نداشت است توهین نمی کنم به کسی در غزل ولی هر کس, کم هر کس کمی محبت حیدر نداشت است خود را برای شعل محیا کند به او اقرا به چشم دیده و باور نداشت است دیدیم در قدیر که دنیا به جز علی آینه برای پیمبر نداشت است سوگن می خورم که نبی شهر علم بود شهری که جز علی در دیگر نداشت است تو ریز چارچوب در قلحه کنده هست انگار قلحه ایک زمان در نداشت است کعبه از راز جهان راز خدا آگاه است راز ایجاز خدا نقطه بسم الله هست کبه افتاده به پایت سر رایت سرمست براهن چاک و قزلخان و سرایی در دست کبه وقتی که در آغوش خودش یوسف دید خود زلیخا شد و خود پیراهن سب درید کبه بر آینه کبه بر سینه خود نام تو ای مرد نوشت کلم خاجه شیراز کم آورد نوشت ناگهان پرده برانداخته ای یعنی چی مست از خانه برون تاخته ای یعنی چی راز خلقت همه پنهان شده در عین علی است 
کهکشان ها نخی از وصله نحلین علیز می رسد قصه به آنجا که جهان زیبا شد با جعاز شتاران کوه احود برپا شد و از, آن و از آن آینه با آینه بالا می رفت در, در, دست در دست خودش یک تنه بالا می رفت تا شهادت بدهد عشق ولی الله هست پله در پله از آن محزنه بالا می رفت پیش چشم امه دست پسر بنت اسد بین دست پسر آمنه بالا می رفت گفت این بار به پایان سفر می گویم بارها گفته هم و بار دیگر می گویم گفت ساقی من این مرد و سبویم دستش بگذارید که یک شمه بگویم دستش هرچی در عالم بالاست تصرف کرده شب معراج به من سیب تحارف کرده بعد از آن روز که در کعبه پدیدار شدی یازده مرتبه در آینه تکرار شدی می نویسم می نویسم که شب تار سحر می گردد یک نفر مانده از این قوم که بر می گردد یک نفر مانده از این قوم که بر می گردد انشاءالله سلامت با تشکر از خانم افزلی برای سرسلامتی ایشان و خانواده محترمشان سلوات تعطیل کنید. بعد وال محمد در این قسمت از برنامه از برادر عزیزمان آقای یحیی حسینی خواهش میکنم که شعر را که آماده کردن و حضور شما تقدیم. سلوات علی محمد و آل محمد سلوات الله محمد و آل محمد فرا رسیدن عید قدیر و خلافت بلا فصل حضرت امیر المؤمنین را به کافه از مسلمان های جهان به خصوصا حضار محترم تبریک و تحنیت برز می رساند عید قدیر دلای این مجد جان بخش دوشم از بشیر آمد که ای بیمار در دو غم شب عید قدیر آمد به روز اجده زمان خدا جبریل با امر خطیر آمد به گفتا یا محمد بهر تو امروز دستوری ز درگاه خداوند بزرگ و به نظیر آمد ز جا برخیز و کن ابلاغ دستور خدایت را که این دستور دستور کزهی خبیر آمد بپا کن از جهاز اشتران او رنگ شاهی را که فرمان وزارت بحر تین وزیر آمد 
اگر خواہی کنی تکمیل فرمانے رسالت را بے خان حکم ولایت را کہ از بحرت سفیر آمد علی را کن علی را کن وسیع و جانشین خیشتن امروز کہ دستور معکد بحرد از حی قدیر آمد بگو ورکس کی مولایش منم او را علی مولا کہ او مانند من آگا دل روشن زمین دارد اران کس دوستش دارد خدایش دوست می دارد کہ او از سوی حق خجت و هر بر نافی دارد خدا را دشمن از آن کس که باشد با علی دشمن بله این گفته حق از کس بالا بزیر آمد شود تکمیل دین و نعمت ما بر شما زیرا علی بحر شما امروز مولا و امیر آمد دمی از وصف علی جولید دایم میزند یا رب که او غمخار مسکین و یتیم و هم اسیر آمد بارها گفت پیمبر که علی جان من است ام بجان علی و اسم محمد سلوان با تشکر از برادر عزیز من آقای یحیای حسینی سلوات بر ایشان ختم کنه با ما صلی اللہ محمد آل محمد عجل فرد و در این قسمت از حاج معلم همکار خواهش میکنم که شعر را که تهیه کردن با محضر شما عزیزان تقدیم کنن بخاطر ای اید مبارک بر سر سلامتی ایشان و خانواده ایشان سلوات ختم کنیم الله با هر تپیشی که در دل آگاه هست یک نغمه لا اله الا الله هست هر جا که بلند است ندائه توحید گلبنگ محمد الرسول الله هست توحید و نبوت و امامت هر سه در گفتن یک علی ولی الله هست در مذہب ما کلام حق ناد علی است طاعت کے قبول حق و دیاد علی است از جملہ آفرینی سے کون مکان مقصود خدا علی و اولاد علی است پر محمد محل محمد صلوات اشار رکھے ختم دوستہ بارج میرا سالم شاید یا نشنیدن یا بسیار کم شنیدن باشد یاری گل چہرہ امام چون قد و بالا آراست از فلک بنگ تبارک زمہ لائک بہر خواست نور حق کر چنان جلواز خمخان ایام چرخ مستی بی نمود و زی سرش عقل بکاست دید جبریل امین دید 
جبریل شتابان بزمین جل و گرست از زمین خافلہ یش سرا سیم براز بس چون پیک الہی با پیوم بر رہ رہا گو بلغ سخنی را کہ خداوان بخاص گر کہ تبلیغ علی را ننو مائی تو زجان کشتات بے سمرو زحمت تو نا پیدا ہمرا گرد خودش جمع نمودن شہیدی از پی حکم خدا من پر نیکو آراد ہم چو خرشید درخ شندہ شدی بر ممبر نظر مرحمت افغندی بسوی چپورات اس پس حمد خدا مدہ یداللہ بنمود گوف اے قوم یداللہ علی سر خدا سر کی مولاش ملستم با علی میں گروا سر کی آقاش ملستم علی ورا آقاش سر سر دست نبی دست یداللہ ظاہر انچنانے کی با قرآن ولقد کرمنا خانت ملت لکوم دین کی بدانا نہما بی علی دین مسلمان سندی بے امزاد گبت اے قوم منم ختم رسولا جے خدا بعد من حیدر کرار علی جل علاق بائی بسم اللہ مناؤ نقطہیم ان با حیدر بائی بے نقطہ بہر جا کی بوت بے مانا شاہ علم منو گردی دا علی خود در آن شمس دین منو از حمد خدا بدر ججات ہر کسی حب علی داش جنان قسمت اوز ہر کسی بغض علی داش بدل دشمن ماز کردہ مزاقن سوالی کی بگی کوس علی گوف اس خود کے خدا واندے نبی اشدانات مدھر کل عجائب ہم اکارش عجبات اقل حامات عزین دا بے غیر بے ہمتات اقل شدمات ولی عشق باؤداد ندان کن علی باعث ایجاد تمام دنیا ساقیے کوسر و دست حق و خسم باطل وسیع و منشی و سر دفتر شاہ دوسرات ابن عم نبی و شوہر زہرائی بطول باب شبیر شبر قائمہ عرش خدا یا رب جمال مصطفی ختم رسول بر حضرت مرتضی و زہرائی بطول بر نور دو چشم ان عزیزان حسنین بخشا گناہ ماو تاعت قبول گر تو خواہی نجات در عرصات او با احمد و آلہ سلامہ با تشکر از حاج معلم همکار بر سر سلامتی شان و فامیل محترمشان سلوات غذای ختم کنه صلی اللہ علیہ محمد و آل محمد و عجل فرجم در این قسمت از برنامه یک از برادران ما که مهمان ما هستن از تورنتو امشب برادر وحید فراشاهی فرمودن که میخواین یک نوحه داشته باشن ببخشن یک مدهی داشته باشن شب اید است ما یادم رفته مدهی داشته باشن انشاءالله که استفاده میکنم 
برای سر سلامتی ایشان و فامیل محترمشان سلوات ختم کنه الله سلام علیکم جمعیان و رحمت الله و برکات یا علی مولا علی علی 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 مدد علی مدد علی مدد علی مدد everyone ان شاء الله whoever has a hajat tonight But connect yourself with Hamir al-Mu'mineen, inshallah. Ya Ali, Mawla Ali, Ali. Ya Ali, Mawla Ali, Ali. Ya Ali, Mawla. Ahsan. Ya Ali, Mawla. علی مدد علی مدد علی مدد یا علی مولا علی علی یا علی مولا علی علی یا علی مولا علی علی یا علی مولا علی مدد علی مدد اول و آخر علی علی اول و آخر the first امام the last وسی The best of all, Ali, Ali. The best of all, Ali, Ali. Ali, Mada. Ali, Mada. Ali, Mada. The man of God, Ali, Ali. The son of Mecca. The pious master Ali Ali The pious master The love of Zahra The soul of Muhammad The sign of Allah Ali Ali The sign of Allah Ali 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 Madad Ali Madad Ali Madad Ali Madad Ya Ali Ya Ali Malik Mulk Dali نام زیبای تو شد رافع هر مشکلی یا علی یا علی مالک ملک دلی نام زیبای تو شد رافع هر مشکلی یا علی یا مولا ای نگار زهرا یا علی یا مولا ای نگار زهرا یا حی 
حیدر یا حیدر یا مرتزا یا حیدر یا حیدر ای به خاتم نگین قبله اهل یقین ذکر هر مؤمن بود یا امیر المؤمنی همه با هم یا علی یا مولا ای نگار زهرا یا علی یا مولا ای نگار زهرا یا حیدر یا حیدر یا صلی علی محمد و علی محمد Thank you, our brother Wahid Farashahi, uh, for the for his health and his family's success and health in life and hereafter. Please recite a loud salawat. And at this time of program, I would like to invite our uh, brother Hujat al Islam al Muslimin, Ajawai Mudaris, to have the speech regarding Qadir al Khum for us, inshallah. For his health and success in life, please. Recite a loud salawat. Allah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, it was such a fruitful night. A lot of poetry is great, recitations. May Allah give all those. Uh, reciters of the Quran, the translation, the poetries, in the honor of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Prophet said, Dhikra Aliyan Ibadah, remembrance of Ali ibn Abi Talib is worship itself. Uh, may Allah grant all of them the khair of dunya and continuous love of Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salam uh, for their health and well-being. Let's recite a salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Before I start, the reason I'm standing here is because I will. we will have a game at the end. We will have, inshallah, a quiz uh, similar to before uh, we had mentee games. So, inshallah, we have three winners. Uh, my dear brother, Saeed, just uh, passed. Uh, he handed three envelopes of prizes to me. Inshallah, I'll be giving these prizes to the winners of that game. Uh, so I will give you some information regarding some of the question on that quiz. So, inshallah, if you listen... You will benefit and you'll be able to have an upper hand in the quiz, inshallah. That's why I didn't go to members to keep my uh, speech short. And then we do the, inshallah, uh, minty game at the end. So we can uh, uh, in, in kind of incorporate celebration as well as learning and seeking knowledge uh, tonight. For the honor of the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, Sayyidu Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي على في توحده ودنا في تمرد في تفرده وجل في سلطانه وعظم في أركانه وحط بكل شيء علما وهو في مكانه ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير خلقه وحبيبه حفظ سره ومبلغ رسالاته حبيب إله العالمين وخاتم النبيين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المكرمين الهداة المهديين سيما بقية الله في السماوات والأراضين الحمد لله الذي جعلنا من المتمسكين بولاية أمير المؤمنين وإمام المتغين علي بن أبي طالب والأئمة المعصومين عليهم السلام قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن الكريم يا أيها الرسول بلغ ما أنزل إليك من ربك وإن لم تفعل 
فما بلغت رسالته والله يعصمك من الناس Congratulations on two occasions. Yesterday was the 15th of the Hijjah, anniversary of the birth of our 10th Imam, Imam Ali al-Naqi al-Hadi alayhi salam. And on Sunday, on the 18th of the Hijjah, we have the Grand Eid of Ghadir, anniversary of final declaration and announcement of the successorship of Imam Ali alayhi salam. 70 days before Prophet's death on his uh, farewell hajj, farewell pilgrimage. He gathered people in a pond known as Ghadir Khum in a way, in a, in a place between Mecca and Medina. On his way back from hajj, he stopped for three days in this area known as Ghadir Khum in this pond. And then he waited for people who are behind to join and those who went ahead to return. And on that day, which was on the 18th of the Hijjah, which will be again this Sunday, he performed Salat al -Dhur. He led the Jama'ah and congregation of noon prayers. And after that, he gave this famous sermon and khutbah known as Khutbaya Ghadiriya, the speech of Ghadir, which uh, has been mentioned by many Muslims, many companions of the Prophet, Allama Amini. He authored a book called Al-Ghadir. In this book, uh, which he has spent most of his life, remember this is a time that there was no search engine, no PDF available. In order to collect every tradition, he traveled from one library to another. He traveled across the Muslim world to look at the book of Hadith and tradition, and he collected all the tradition in regard of Ghadir. And he found more than 120 companions of the Prophet, individually, each of them narrated the event of Ghadir. May Allah bless the soul of Allama Amini for the great work that he has done. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make him to be among those who accompany Imam Ali alayhi salam in the hereafter. But on that important day, why we celebrate Eid al-Ghadir? Because it's a day that Allah says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا Today Allah says, is a day that I perfected my religion and I completed my favors upon you and I chose the religion of Islam for you. Before that, Allah says, today is a day that the enemies of your religion, those who reject and they turn away from Allah, they lost their hope. They were disappointed because of this, because of this perfection. So, what I want to say quickly, I want to first acknowledge Imam Ali and Naqi's life and I, I mention a hadith. I'll leave that toward the end of my short talk. Uh, but for the Ghadir, what I want to talk about is why Ghadir is important. For us to know this concept, which by the way, Surah Ma'idah, we recited the first four verses of this chapter. But there are other verses related to the concept of wilayat. Wilayat means guardianship. Wali, when inshallah, for single people, when you want to get married, the bride has a wali, has a guardian. And in order for marriage to take place, you need the consent of the bride, and then you need the permission of the wali, the guardian of the bride as well. So wali is, the, uh, the wilayat is the guardianship, is the one that is, a supervisor, the one who watches over and makes sure that everything, at least from outside, from the observation, it seems right. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the same surah, surah Ma'idah, Allah said, I am your wali. This is the ayah I want all of us to know as well, because we will see all the time what wali means. That's a, maybe the difference of opinion. Upon, uh, between the followers of the school of Ahlul Bayn and other school of thought in Islam. They say, yeah, we know man kuntu mawla fahada aliyun mawla. We, we know that. The Prophet announced in the day of Ghadir, whomever I'm his wali, after me Ali will be his wali. But what it means wali? Some translate it as friend. But when we look at verse 55 of the same chapter, chapter 555, so it's easy to remember. 555. 
In that ayah, Allah said, "Innama waliyukumullah." Remember that the ultimate wali and guardian, the one in charge, is Allah. The authority comes from Him is Allah. Second, wa rasulu. After Prophet, after Allah is the Prophet, the one in charge, the guardian, is the messenger of God. The third, al-ladina yuqimuna salat wa yuqtuna zakat wa hum raqiyun. And the third are those who establish prayers, those who give charity and zakat, and those who give this charity and zakat while they are in ruku, in the middle of prayer. Which again we have in many tafasir of Muslims, Ahlul Sunnah, that they say this verse, one of the occasion of revelation was when Ali ibn Abi Talib, in the middle of prayers, a faqir, a poor approached him and he gave away his ring in the middle of salat. And you will hear people say, how someone like Imam Ali alayhi salam, who's so focused in his prayers, he was able to pay attention to faqir, and in the middle of his prayers to give zakat. Those who bring these kind of objection, they don't understand. To remember Allah, it comes in different form. You can pray and give zakat at the same time. You can pray, you know, we have in our religion, if you're in the middle of your mustahab prayers, right? You're doing extra prayers, thawabi, nafila. And suddenly your parents call you, your mom or dad is calling you. What should you do? Answer them. If it's urgent, break your mustahab salat and answer them. So for someone like Imam Ali to be in the middle of the prayer. So of course it's not jama'ah. Because if it was jama'ah, how this poor can go when Imam is leading? So he's doing prayer. And a poor approaching him and he gives his zakat is not against remembrance of Allah. Is knowing that at this moment, to remember Allah is to remember that this creation of God is a need. And my salat is not going to stop me from helping this human being. These kind of objection, it comes from lack of understanding of the message of God itself. That those who bring up these kind of excuses, they don't understand the concept of wali. What is wali means? Remember in Ayatul Kursi, we say, Allahu waliyu alladheena amanu. يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Ayatul Kursi again, there are one ayah. Some again recite three ayahs, the two following verses as well. But the one that comes after it said, Allah is your wali. And what it means by wali? Is it friend? No. يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Allah is your guardian, the one who helps you to leave darknesses behind and enter light. So whenever you have confusion that what wali means, look at the Qur'an. Allah give us the clear definition of what it is. In other ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which again in regard of a statement Prophet made multiple times, in Surah Ahzab, Allah said, النَّبِيُّ أَوْلَى بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ Verse 5 of Surah number, verse 6 of Surah number 33, Allah says, the Prophet, and nabi the Prophet, is closer to the faithful, to the believers, than their own souls. Awla bil mu'minin min anfusihim. It means that a prophet has a status to believers that is even closer to them than themselves. Why? Because we believe if prophet tells you what to do, he has that authority and guardianship. That's why Allah said, "Ma atakum rasul fakhudu." These are all Quran, verse by verse. Because when you say Kitab Allah wa Itrati, I believe in it. We should quote both Quran and Hadith. That's why I'm I'm trying to quote always Quran and Hadith together. Because in the final days of the Prophet's life, when before Ghadir Prophet said this famous Hadith, "Inni tarikun fikum al-thagalain, Kitab Allah wa Itrati." Soon I'll be leaving you, O people, O Muslims. Soon I'll be leaving you. Referring to his soon, his departure of this dunya. But I'm leaving you with two weighty, worthy things. Thaqalain. Thaqil means something that is heavy. Something that is worthy. Weighty. Two weighty things. Kitab Allah wa Aitrati. Quran and my family. Lan yaftariqa. They will not be separated from one another until day of judgment. They will be together. That's why Imam Ali, he's the one, he is, when we say, Katib Wahi. 
Hafid the Wang, the one who memorized it, the one who's among those who brought all the verses together. You see the name of Ali ibn Abi Talib. You know, today if we are blessed as non-Arabic speaking, we're, we are in debt of Imam Ali alayhi salam because who came out with this tajweed, the rules, the dots, because the original Arabic didn't have dots. He taught it to his student and then we have it right now as tajweed. That's someone who's so connected with the Quran. And that's the same with the rest of the family of the Prophet. Imam al Hussein, Muharram is around the corner. How many times, in how many stations he recited Quran? Even his head, we believe, recited Quran as it was carried in the cities of Kufa and Sham. So Quran is there, and then Ahlul Bayt. And Ahlul Bayt said, whatever you hear from us is against Quran, is not from us. It's not from us. We said from Quran. So Allah says in this ayah, and Nabi awla bil mu'minin min anfusim. Prophet is closer to the believers than their own souls. And another ayah said, ma atakum or rasul fakhudu. Whatever Prophet is going to deliver and bring it to you, take it. Take it. You don't have a question, oh, I don't like this, or I believe I prefer this, take it. And whatever he prohibits, forbids you, stay away from it. That's the Quran. And on the Ghadir, he made that announcement. It's a long sermon, by the way. I, the the uh, beginning that I just recited uh, in my khutbah is from the khutbah of Ghadir. Alhamdulillah, ala fi tawahudih. This is the one that Prophet makes multiple times asking this question. Alastu awla bil mu'minin min anfusim or min anfusikum. Am I not closer to you than your own souls? Do I know better what's best for you, even better than you? And they responded, yes, four times in that sermon, Prophet asked. And then after that, he said, Man kuntu mawla fa'adha aliyun mawla. Now that I know better, now that the Quran said, I'm closer to your souls than yourself, I'm telling you, whomever I'm his. Wali and guardian, Ali will be his guardian. That's a very important announcement. One question we have to ask ourselves, why Allah has to abandon humanity after the final prophet of God? Why? We don't believe in that. Every Muslim, Alhamdulillah, we're in common that we believe in the same book, we believe in the same prophet. That's a commonality. But after that, how are we going to take this Islam? You have choice. One choice is go through Ahlul Bayt and Ali ibn Abi Talib. The one in before public announcement of Islam, Allah says in Quran, for three years, Prophet did a private invitation to Islam, known as Yawmuddar, right? وَأَنذِرْ عَشِيرَتَكَ الْأَقْرَبِينَ Quran said to Prophet, start warning your family, your own, your own tribe, your own Ashira before the public announcement. So we have in Yawm dar twice Prophet, he prepared a stew, he prepared food, and invited his family members, his uncles, his cousins. Everybody gathered, they had the stew, they had the meal. And then on that day he said, I'm the messenger of God, I'm, I'm the messenger of God. Allah asked me to share my message with you. Whoever are going to believe in this message, believe in Allah and me as a prophet, will be khalifati wa wasiyyi. This is before the public announcement. Whoever are going to believe in Allah and, and my message will be my successor and my wasi. The only one who stood up was Ali ibn Abi Talib. So the messenger of God, I believe in you. The first man, awwalul qawmi islama. The first of people who believed in him. This is before Prophet had the numbers, Prophet had the Ansar and the Ma'ad. None of that was there yet. And the rest of them, Abu Lahab and others, they ruined the majlis. They didn't let that announcement to be completed. Second time, Prophet again had another meal, another stew, another gathering, another food giving, feeding. One more time announcement, and again, only Ali ibn Abi Talib did it. So this Ghadir is not the only announcement of the Prophet about Ali ibn Abi Talib, is the final one. In many occasions already this announcement was made. 
You may ask when, as I said, at the beginning, before public announcement, this happened. And many other occasion, Prophet said it. The one who slept in the bed of the Prophet when Prophet is leaving. In Mubahila, which is around the corner, the one who took as a representative of his own soul, and Fusana, he took Ali ibn Abi Talib. In Mubahila. When in the, in the final days of the Prophet, he asked everybody to leave Medina except Ali ibn Abi Talib, to be the one in the Medina and in charge. And Osama ibn Zayd, an 18 year old, Prophet said, whoever is not going to follow him, Allah will curse him, such a person, who's going to disobey my command and the command of Allah. And some people disobeyed. They said, he is 18 years old. How can we follow a commander who's 18 years old? They started that ageism at that time, when Prophet was alive. And when Prophet left this dunya, their main reason for Ali ibn Abi Talib was he was young. They cannot say he's not a warrior. Who is a better warrior than Ali? That, that, that's why Ahqadan Badriyatan wa Khaybariya wa Hunayniyatan wa Ghayrahun in Dua and Nudba we say ya Allah, ya Allah the hatred toward Ali comes from the Badr it comes from Hunayn because Ali was the warrior it was in the front line and in the day of Ashura they said to Imam Hussein alayhi salam one of the reasons we're fighting with you Bughdan Abik, because we hate your father what he did to us, to our forefathers. It's not that easy. So he's the warrior. Knowledge, I said, go look at the Najul Balagha, compare it with any other companion of the Prophet's statements, and tell me which one has the eloquence and the knowledge and wisdom. Be fair and please be impartial and not biased. That's wisdom. We need to compare, by the way. We cannot say that we chose Imam Ali alayhi salam because we're biased. No, we chose Ali ibn Abi Talib. We must choose him because he is the best to choose. He's the most qualified. That should be the reason. Any other reason is not complete. I said it's not because he's the cousin of the Prophet. Prophet's uncle is cursed in Quran. Tabad yada Abi Labin Watab. So blood relations doesn't matter if Iman is not there. If it's about being cousin, there are other cousins of the Prophet as well. But why Ali? As I said, because he was there from the from the awwal and akhir, right? He is awwal al qawmi islaman, and he is the one, the last by the side of the Prophet. When Prophet dies, he's there. The one who buries him is there, is, is him. So Eid al Ghadir is a do, is a day of joy and celebration. On Sunday. There's some a'mal that we want to pay attention to. Number one is a day that ghusl is mustahab. Perform ghusl. It's a day that treating it like Eid, wear something new, wear something nice. And then exchanging gift is mustahab. It's a day that is mustahab. Yawm tabassum, have that beautiful smile. It's mustahab to give sadaqah, charity. It's a day which is, is very recommended to feed. Remember, Prophet on the first day, he invited people over for food. And Eid al-Ghadir, one of the greatest amal of that day is to invite people for food. Not just the fuqara, we already said about sadaqah. We give it to the poor, but just inviting people over for food. And Alhamdulillah, Masjid made it very easy. We did it, padlock. So everybody can get the sawab of it'am and feeding on the day of Ghadir. Is on the day of Ghadir on, on Sunday, you bring your own dish or you can go to the link and you can choose a dish to bring. Either way is fine. If you want to again uh, bring something special that you have a tradition, please do it. Feel free to bring your own dish. Or if you want to kind of make a collaborative work, you can go to the email to our website and there is a form that you can choose. Okay, I can bring these kind of items and there is a list you can choose for Padla. So we can do that collectively. And also is a day that we have to greet one another with Alhamdulillah alladhi ja'anana min al-mutamassikina wa wilayati Ali ibn Abi Talib. We're grateful to Allah. Praise to Allah that we are among those who grabbed on, who are seeking guidance on the path of Ali ibn Abi Talib. We have inshallah bouncy castle on the day of Eid. We already uh, ordered it and is ready. So for the children, we have a carnival theme by the 
innovation and creativity of our youth. I never been in a carnival. This is my first. So this is a carnival theme is for kids. There are games and activities. We have prizes. So we shall look forward for everyone to show up. And we make this day of celebration. Remember, Muharram is a time that we remember the sacrifice of Abu Abdullah al is a time of Aza, grief and mourning. Eid al-Ghadir, Eid al-Mubahila, Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Qurban. These are the time of joy and celebration. The same way, inshallah, you show up for Ashura, for Tasu'a, for the day of Aza, show up for the day of celebration as well. As important it is that joy and happiness is both the blessing and the gift of Allah. We should express happiness when Prophet is happy, when Fatima Tuzara is happy, when Ahlul Bayt are happy. And that's a day of happiness for all of us, inshallah. I finish with the hadith of Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam. Imam Al Hadi alayhi salam, hadith, uh, because as I said yesterday, was the wiladat of this Imam. Imam alayhi salam says, Man hanat alayhi nafsuhu fala ta'man sharrah. The one who doesn't know his or her own value. Someone that doesn't respect themselves. Fala ta'man sharrah. Never feel safe from their harm. If somebody doesn't respect themselves, if people, those individuals who doesn't know their own value and worth, you're not safe around them. So if they, in other words, if they don't respect themselves, how are they going to respect you? So it's important as people to know our own worth. We are people that we should not be arrogant. We should not be full of pride, but we should have dignity, not confusing them. That's the moment of reflection. Greatest confusion happens when things are near one another. We start getting confused. We be, we're getting confused what it means to be rude and what it means to be truthful. It's a very thin line between haqq and batil sometimes. Sometimes you're rude, sometimes you're truthful. They're not the same. One is wrong, one is acceptable and admired. One is arrogance, which is wrong. One is honor, dignity, which is good. Izza. And one Izza is to don't humiliate yourself. So there is, you know, sometimes we make a joke about ourselves, right? You, you make a joke. One joke is good. We try to be humble. But don't make yourself the laughing stock of, of, a, of a circle either. It's important to have self-respect. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to learn from the teachings of the Quran, from the teaching of the Prophet, especially Imam Ali and Naqi. Naqi means the pure. The title of the Imam is the pure. The one who lived under the most difficult time. You know, Imam al-Hadi was in Askar, in an army camp. He and, and his father, both, they are Askariyain. They both live in Baghdad, Samira, under constant surveillance. But still, you can see the title of the Imam is Al-Hadi, the one who guides, the leader, the one who guides to a truth. Even in, when he is being suppressed, is being censored, still the truth gets out. And he is the pure because no matter how many times they try to corrupt him, they try to test him, they fail. His purity ultimately manifested itself. We should be grateful for the work that they've done for us. Just look at this tradition. Honestly, I think uh, some of you are good at writing. You can write a good article on this hadith of Imam al-Hadi. Post it on there. On a social media. There's so many anti-Shia information out there, not just on website. You go to Huffington Post. There's so many, so many writers. You don't have to have a degree. You just write and put it out there. Share the knowledge of Ahlul Bayt. Just this hadith, put it out there. The one man hanad nafza, the one who doesn't know their own worth, the one who humiliate and disrespect themselves, you're not safe. You're not immune from their harm, from their evil. And there's so much we can write about this. To learn how kind of, what kind of friendship we can make. To learn about the importance of honor, self-respect. These are so much that we can do. But all we have to do is reflection. To think and be able to produce, to create contents. You know, to, to introduce Imam Ali alayhi salam, share his wisdom. We don't need to debate, okay, they follow Khilafah, we follow Imam Ali. Okay, everybody at the end, they're free to choose whatever they want to choose. 
But for us that we soak, alhamdulillah, we discovered the truth. Ali on ma al-haq, ma Ali. Ali is with the truth and truth is with Ali. So now we have the truth. What, what is that truth? Share it with humanity. What truth of Imam Ali was shared with mankind? There's so much wisdom that we can share. Each of us, again, we have a talent. Use that talent. Some of you, as I said, are good writers. Some of you may be good, good artists, good painters. Do things. There's so much time that we spend on things that they don't matter. If we do something good, as long as that piece of work is going to be out there, and even one person benefit from it, we get a reward for it. Somebody was able to enjoy it. Somebody was able to get a hint. I finish with that story. Ma'amun asked Imam Radha alayhi salam in a gathering that you she as you believe Ali is Qasim wal Nari wal Jannah. The one who divides the hell and heaven. That's kuf. This is shirk. The one who decides between hell and heaven is Allah. He is the judge. Why you call him Qasim wal Nari wal Jannah? The divider of heaven and the hell. Imam Ali salam responded, said in your own books, you don't have a tradition from the Prophet agreed by, again, the scholars of the time, by non-Shia scholars of the time. The Prophet said, Ya Ali, no one will hit you except a munafiq. No one will despise and hate you illa al-munafiq, except if they're hypocrites. In other words, they don't believe. They pretend. And no one will love you Except mu'min. So tell me, where is the place of a munafiq and a hypocrite? And he responded, of course, a munafiq's place in hell. Quran says. And he said, where is the place of a mu'min, a believer? And he said, of course, the place is mu'minun. So and Imam al Sam said, okay, tell me. So if you love Ali, is heaven. If you hate Ali, is hell. So he is the one that divides hell and heaven. It's not that Imam Ali some randomly picks people. It's that we believe the one who's against Ali Ali salam. The one, as I said, the one first one to believe. The one that many, again, we have Nisa'i is Ahlul Sunnah, a very well known scholar of Ahlul Sunnah, Nisa'i. He wrote a book about Imam Ali Ali salam. And he was killed for it, by the way. He did it in Sham, in the Levant of the time. People attacked him for that because Muawiyah's work still existed. The propaganda doesn't disappear right away. They killed him. Nisai was killed because he put his effort to write a book about fadail and qualities of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And when they come to him, said, why you write this book? You should refute it. He said, what, how can I do it? How can I refuse and refute something that Prophet said? How can I go against something that Quran said? All I said in this book is from Quran and Prophet. We love Ali ibn Abi Talib for his qualities, for his merits. We love Ali ibn Abi Talib because of his iman. We love Ali ibn Abi Talib because Prophet of God loved him. We love Ali ibn Abi Talib because Allah loves him. How many times we, we, we hear the story, she and Sunni narrate in the battle of Khaybar, many leaders they hold on to the flag. They failed. And then Prophet said, tomorrow I'll give the flag to someone that he loves Allah and his messenger and Allah and his messenger loves him. And everybody's waiting, who's going to hold that flag? Ali ibn Abi Talib is the one. We have from the first Khalifa who said, said, I wish I would have given everything I had and I would have had that hadith about Ali to be about me. This is again, this is agreed upon by all Muslims. That's why Ali ibn Abi Talib is someone to be admired and to be loved and to be recognized as an example. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the love and the mahabba of Ahlul Bayt, especially Amir al muminin and to be the Shia means the follower of Ali ibn Abi Talib, inshaAllah. Salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.
Okay, children have something to do as they come and to do it. I'll set up the game, inshallah. Uh, inshallah, they're ready. Recite a loud salawat for all these young children who are going to, inshallah, show their beautiful piece of work and art for Imam Ali alayhi salam. Salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. For the sake of children, please be more attentive. Jazakallah khair. If you're tired on the ground, you can get a chair, inshallah. Please recite a salawat. Okay, we're going to go around and the kids are showing you guys their drawings, their beautiful drawings, and they wrote something for Eid al Ghadir on the back. We're going to start with say your name and tell me what you wrote on the back of your paper. Muzar. I love prophets. Yeah. My name is Elia Posi. I love Imam Ali. I love prophets and imams. I love you, Imam Ali. I love everybody. I love Mama Say. Um, uh, ha happy Eve. Prophets are very special and they are helpful. They help us. I love Imam Ali. Happy. Dear Imam Ali, I love I love Eid because because this Eid is special. You became a prophet. I love I love talking about you. It's actually not done. It's not done. I I love going to the masjid in Eid cuz cuz you become a prophet. Congratulations. Good job. Not done yet. Well done. I I always go, I always go to find out, to find out where, where's Mount Everest. I never know where Mount Everest is, but you'll help me find ways. You, you, you made this planet so special. I never knew 
prophets were real, but I always knew that you were the realest prophet. Realistic and kind, I love the drawings and videos of you. I, I knew. And then Aliza's gonna recite a told kursi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu la ilaha illahu al-hayu al-qayyum. La ta'khudu shanatu wa nanu. Lahu ma fa al-shamawati wa ma fa al-ard. Al-ladhi yashbahu innahu illa bi-ithnihi ya'lamu ba'dayna ar-dihna. So <laughs> Muhammad Let's inshallah give him a round of applause as they go back to sit, inshallah. Good job. Okay. Let's inshallah we'll go with the game. This is uh, go to menti.com. You can use the QR code or you can use the code 8259-5621. Let's inshallah start. We will... Uh, have to be, we have to kind of rush a bit, but everybody can join. Fifth, once again, the code is 82 59 56 21. Okay, I give you a minute, maybe less than a minute. Again, shall as you join, I would like to especially thank. Uh, Brother Dawood uh, to decorate the masjid and for the, all the other uh, work that he's done. I would like to thank uh, Brother Mahmoud, Sister Sohaila, other volunteers who help with the cooking, uh, Sayyidu Allah for helping us with the kitchen, uh, all the volunteers, young people who distribute the shichai and the food and the dessert as you are enjoying. A special thank to Brother Hamzan, uh, Sayyid Hamzan Sayyid Arif, they were the one who sponsored security for the day of Eid al-Adha. May Allah inshallah give him khair of dunya and akhirah. And also a special thank to Brother Irfan to be the man in charge in the uh, back room doing all the online work, recording and technology here. For the well-being and success of all of the volunteers, all the organizers, all the sponsors, aside the loud salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Okay, give me a few more minutes. I know you want to go talking, but on the day of Eid, come on Sunday after namaz is done. I'll promise you, I'll don't stop you. You can talk as much as you want in the park. You're free to talk, mingle, you know, socialize as much as you want. Not after namaz is done, by the way, after. But right now, give me a few more minutes. Okay. So this is, remember, Prophet's tradition. Ali yun mal haq, wal haqqu ma Ali. Ali is with the truth, and the truth is with Ali alayhi salam. Write it, come. This is not going to be for point, but I would like to uh, see what you're going to come up with. What comes to mind when you hear the name of Imam Ali alayhi salam? Wise, rightful, generous, commander of faithful, heaven, Imam, the first Imam, good job, warrior, loving. The reason I ask you to do, inshallah, as you, I get more, is to understand how multidimensional character Imam Ali alayhi salam was. He wasn't a, a person who only had one side. Depending on the time, depending on the situation, that part of his character, that part of his personality would manifest. If it's a time of warrior and being war, he's the one 
ashiddaw ala al-kuffar. He's not going to negotiate with those who are enemy of Allah. But when it comes to the others, ruhamau baynahum. He is the one who is merciful to the widows, to the captive and, and captured. Uh, good. These are all beautiful. Lion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Commander faithful against oppression. Good job. Okay, I think now we're going to start. Okay, let's inshallah start. I have 30 people. Has anyone tried to join or everybody joined already? As I said, we're going to have three winners. Our winners are going to be ED in the form of cash. So you're not going to be limited in where you like to spend it. But I'm, anyone trying to join? Raise your hand if you're still trying to join. Okay, one. Okay. I'm going to give you a few more seconds. I know tonight is a bit late, but remember, uh, Maghrib is at 8.30. So no matter how fast we are, it's going to take time until we do program. If you wanted to start before Maghrib, people are at work, it gets time. Uh, we, it's not ideal. I don't like to make program till late, but sometimes it's a few more weeks of summer, then inshallah, the times will change. Okay. Ready? Bismillah. First question is going to be general knowledge i believe what does the term dinosaur actually mean it's just a warm-up big predator terrible lizard sharp teeth gorilla well is a just trivia as i said the right answer is the one with seven people terrible lizard dinosaur come from two greek words one means terrible, fearful, and the second one, it means, it is right. I made my research. You can go and, who said it's not right? So, remember, I've spent more than two minutes on this. Do you have to give me credit? Uh, it's terrible lizard. It come, as I said, from, uh, come from Greek. Actually, anyone knows what's gorilla well? Godzilla is a two Japanese word. Godzilla is the American version, the original one from Japanese means gorilla well, the, the original Godzilla. Okay, some kind of, pop, you know, maybe, uh, I think there's two, one more general knowledge. Okay, we have Brother Irfan on the top. Question number two. On average, how many aluminum soda cans are used in the United States each year? So again, I think it's the last trivia, and then we go to the questions about Ghadir. Is it 90 million, 120 million, 3 billion, 80 billion? And the right answer is the highest one, 80 billion. Yes. And by the way, it is, when I was looking this up, uh, aluminum can be recycled, uh, recycled as many times as possible. So it doesn't have like plastic or others that have a certain limit to recycle it. Aluminum doesn't. So you can recycle it as many times as possible. So 80 billion uh, soda can per year. So watch over those sodas that you're using. Uh, let's see. Irfan, Shaquille, Amir. Again, it's changing. Okay, let's go to now questions. Uh, I think this is Ghadir question, I believe. Imam Ali is buried here. Where is here? You will see. Is it Kufa, Najaf, Karbala, Mashhad? This place is where? Which Imam Ali is buried there? And the right answer is Najaf. Good job. Not even one wrong answer. Proud of you. Good job. Kufa is 10 kilometers away from Najaf. So Kufa is near, but that's where Imam Ali's capital was, Kufa. Okay. Next question. 
we're going to be inshallah fasting, uh, speeding up a bit. Who is buried near Imam Ali alayhi salam in the same haram? Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, Ayatollah Khui, or all of the above? And when you see all of the above, it means you should be patient to see all the answers. It's all of the above. That's why in Ziyarat of Imam Ali alayhi salam, we say salam to Hazrat Adam and Nuh, Ayatollah Khui, which is the teacher, grand teacher of many scholars, including Ayatollah Sistani, is buried there. Sheikh Abbas Aqumi, the one who authored and collected Mafatiul Janan, is buried there. Many other great ulama are buried in the ziyarat of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Let's go. Uh, the leaderboard, let's see if there's any change in the leaderboard. Irfan is still leading. Shaquil. HZ, Amir, HZ, and Shaq and Jamal doing a collaborative work. Proud of you. Good job. Let's go. Question number five. In which year did the Prophet perform his final Hajj? I tried to make it very obvious, so I didn't put near numbers. Is it third year after Hijrah? Sixth year after Hijrah? Tenth year after Hijrah? Forty year? Or fortieth after Hijrah? The final Prophet's Hajj or Hajjatul Wida? And the right answer is tenth. Uh, Forty year after Hijrah is the Shahadat of Imam Ali salam himself. Tenth year was his final Hajj, 70 days before his death. Okay, similar, I would say Amir did an answer, let's see. It's my fault, I didn't close the loophole so two people can join together. They did it. Let's go to next question. The event of Ghadir al-Khum highlighted the significance of which concept? Is it Hajj? Is it Wilaya al-Imamad? Is it sacrifice or is it Zakat? What was it about? And the answer is, should be very obvious. It's Wilaya and imamat because Hajj was already over, sacrifice was an Eid al-Adha, and Zakat was already uh, propagated before. Okay? Still, I can see leaderboard is the same. Jazakallah, I can see Belgis and Amir change their place. Question number seven. Some recommended actions on either Ghadir day are, what are the recommended actions? I mentioned it. Ghusl ritual bath, feeding others and giving sadaqah, exchanging gifts, all of the above. These are just, again, I had a few wrong answers. I think they rushed a bit. Good job. Who's Shaquille Jr.? Who's Shaquille Jr.? Raise your hand, Shaquille Jr. We don't have a Shaquille Jr. here? Okay. Okay. 8 out of 13. Let's inshallah go next question. After the Prophet completed the Hajj, a divine command descend upon the Prophet telling him to what? Announce Imamat of Imam Ali, give money to the poor, give a ring to Imam Hassan, give a cloak to Hazrat Fatima. And the right answer, of course, is announce from Imam Ali alayhi salam. Very good. I'm going to skip because we're a bit late. We'll see the leaderboard later. What does an naqi means? Naqi, the title of our 10th Imam. I mentioned it as well. Which one is it? Is it the pure, the leader, the worshiper, the truthful? An naqi. And the answer, naqi must know. Is naqi here? It's busy, naqi, I think. Naqi is not here. So the answer is the pure. Very good. Taqi, which is the title of our 9th Imam, means, anyone knows? Taqi. Pious, very good. Okay, let's skip the leader word again. Create some suspense. Tenth question. 
Qadir al-Khum is the name of a pond located in Khum on the road from Mecca to Medina. Is it true or false? Again, it wasn't my speech. You should know it. You should not take this long. It's easy. True. Yes. 29 got it right. And I'm going to skip again the leaderboard. Maybe on the last two questions. Wait. Okay. The Prophet made his famous speech, which became famous as Ghadir Sermon, after which prayer? Was it after Fajr? Was it after noon? After Maghrib? Or after Isha? Again, in my speech. It was in the lecture. And the right answer is, was after Zohar and noon prayer. Good job. Skip it. Question number 12. Which ziyarat is from Imam al Hadi alayhi salam? There's ziyarat from different Imams. Is it ziyarat Ashura? Is it ziyarat al Qadir? Is it ziyarat al Warif? Is it ziyarat al Minallah? A hint related to our occasion. Ziyarat al Qadir. Ziyarat Amin Allah, we just recited, those six of you who did it, I said it's from Imam Zain al Abidin. He came by Imam Ali's grave and he recited it. We did it, so you should know it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Irfan Shakil Jr. Shaq and Jamal, the real Shaq, original Shaq and Jamal, Amir. Okay, and final question. Finish here. Who is the author of the famous book Al Ghadir? I mentioned it as well. Is it Allama Jafari, Allama Tabatabai, Allama Hilli, Allama Amini, who collected all the tradition about Ghadir from all the books of Hadith? And the right answer is Allama Amini, is the one who did the book Al Ghadir. Uh, and let's look at the leaderboard. Okay, Brother Irfan. Uh, let's recite a salawat for Brother Irfan doing multitasking to come and get his prize. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. A round of applause for Brother Irfan Malakuti. Next on the list, now you should show yourself, Shaquille Jr. Is that you, Muhammad? Recite a salat for Muhammad al-Amara. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. You're not getting it, Muhammad? Come on. Jazakallah. Applause for Muhammad. I'm not surprised. Muhammad is always with the creative name. So, what was the last nickname you give yourself? What was it? El, El Senor? Okay. And the third, the third shared position, brother Shaquil and brother Jamal, which they're very smart, so it means I have to give them one more prize, brother uh, Saeed, if you're here, I need one more prize, inshallah. You, I owe you one. For Shaquille and Jamal, recite a salawat. There are two of them. You should give a better applause for two people. Okay? I think sisters, they kind of feel kind of you just let the brothers win this week. Uh, it's just let them. It's okay. Okay. Uh, let's inshallah finish with the ziyara. Everybody stand up. Thank you for showing up tonight. We conclude inshallah with ziyara. Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum ya Nabi Allah. Ya khayra khalqillah ya khatma nabiyin. Assalamu alaikum ya Mawlatana ya Fatima al-Zahra. Sayyidat Nisa al-Alamin. 
السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين ويا إمام المتقين علي بن أبي طالب السلام عليكم أيها الحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة السلام على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين زين العابدين ومحمد بن علي باقر علم النبيين وجعفر بن محمد الصادق وموسى بن جعفر الكاظم وعلي بن موسى الرضا ومحمد بن علي بن التقي الجواد وعلي بن محمد الهاد النقي وحسن بن علي العسكري الزكي السلام عليك يا صاحب الزمان يا خليفة الرحمن يا إمام الإنس والجان عجل الله تعالى فرجك وسهل الله تعالى مخرجك وظهورك السلام عليكم يا أهل بيت النبوة ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر صدق الله العلي العظيم وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات رحم الله لمن قرأ الفاتحة مع الصلوات July 17th at 1 p.m. Model, 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 model